Inside Science. Society does not treat men and women equally. And yes, we are physically different, but do we think any differently? Well, the answer is yes, but not as much as you might think. Now, women are generally better at language tasks, and men, on average, are a little bit better at organising things in space. But really, there's much more variability within the sexes than there is between the sexes. But that starts to change when you look at the brain. Here, there are clear differences. The most obvious one is that men, on average, have about 10% larger brain by volume, but women have about 15 to 30% thicker cortical grey matter. And that's the good stuff. That's the stuff which does the thinking. So is it just a difference in size? Well, no. Women's brains seem to be fairly balanced between the left and the right hemisphere, whereas men seem to rely far more heavily on the right-hand side of their brain. And it doesn't stop there. There are differences in the places that we process rewards and emotions. The closer you start to look, the more differences you find, until at last you're asking, how come we don't think more differently? Take hormones. Men have more testosterone, women have more progesterone and estrogen. But these don't just act as hormones, these chemicals act as neurotransmitters. They change the way that we think. And even down to the level of DNA, men have a Y chromosome, women don't. Men's neurons have different machinery to women. Eventually, you start realizing that the question isn't, why do we think differently? It's why don't we think more differently? Well, part of it is because our brains are very plastic. I mean, they can adapt to doing tasks that maybe they weren't especially designed for. But a more interesting idea is that maybe we're using different strategies to solve the same problems. Take IQ. Men have larger brains, so technically they should have a higher IQ, but we don't. We have the same, and that might be because women have thicker grey matter, so they have more neurons. Two different strategies to come to the same solution. And it doesn't stop there. Our brains might actually be maladaptive, designed to specifically hinder us in certain things to keep a level mental playing field between the sexes. And this becomes really fascinating when you start thinking about mental disorders. And here there are clear sex differences. Women are twice as likely to suffer from major depressive disorder, and men are 10 times as likely to suffer from schizophrenia. Now these sex differences might be coming from failures of the machinery that balances the brain power of men and women. But perhaps the most amazing part of all of this is that we're only just beginning to understand these differences at all. We are really only just coming to terms with how the other half thinks. For Inside Science, I'm Ali Jennings. Thanks for watching. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.